Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig and today I have a holy grail find in the cowboy boot world because this boot is no longer made and it's using leather which is now illegal to use. So this is a very rare boot indeed. It's a Justin pre-ban sea turtle boot and we're gonna get in close with the details today. Man, I'm so excited. Let's get into it. I'm just here to connect ya and then I'll be on my way. All right guys, so sea turtle products were banned for commercial sales back in 1977. And you could argue that that was still really late considering how endangered sea turtles are today. But still, their leather was used for products including cowboy boots up until the year 1977. So you can still find sea turtle boots on secondhand marketplaces if you're lucky. And it's pretty rare to find them there and maybe even kind of expensive too. So especially if you find a full sea turtle boot like this where even the tops are sea turtle, it's still a holy grail find for many cowboy boot enthusiasts out there and I'm very excited that I found one here in my true size of a 12B. And later on in this video, we'll break down some things that maybe you should know about sea turtle products and sea turtle boots in general. But right now, I wanted to break down the details of this Justin sea turtle boot with the rundown. All right, this is Justin model number 9206, and it features sea turtle on the foot counter and the shaft as well. Sea turtle can be identified by its very unique grain in the tiles and how asymmetrical they are. It's also very similar to alligator leather, except alligator, you'll only have like four tiles touching at once. On sea turtle, you can get a bunch of different tiles touching one. So, I mean, in the middle here, we can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine around one tile. It also features what I would like to call a medium round toe, maybe slightly more narrow than the medium round toes that we're seeing nowadays, but still, I would call this a medium round toe. This boot is also coming in at 12 inches tall, and that top is made of patchwork sea turtle. So they're sewing sea turtle pieces together for this top, which makes this a full sea turtle boot, which is even more rare than just having a sea turtle foot. So this is quite a find indeed. I'm, I'm so stoked about this. For a heel, we got a one and a half inch stacked leather heel. For an outsole, it's leather and it appears to have been resold at least once. It doesn't look like the original outsole and I would be really surprised if it was the original outsole seeing that this boot was made before 1977. That's one of the compromises that you'll probably have to make when searching for sea turtle boots is that you probably won't be able to get it with an original outsole. On the inside, it's leather lined all the way through, so soft, you gotta love that vintage make. And speaking of vintage, you do have a hard leather insole in here, which is very traditional. And that's another compromise that you'll have to make is that hard leather insoles do form to the previous owner's foot when you, when you get a used boot. So I can sort of still feel that impression in here on the uh, hard leather insole, but that's just something that I'm happy to live with because this is such a rare find. This Justin Sea Turtle boot was made in Mexico and I got it from shopgoodwill.com for $457, which is a pretty good price. You might be able to find Sea Turtle boots for anywhere from, you know, $10 if somebody doesn't know what they have up to 1000 plus if they do know what they have. So prices on the market could range that much uh, for a sea turtle boot. Now let's try this boot on to see how it looks and feels. All right, I just put on the Justin pre-band sea turtle boots and I love them. Guys, you know I love a traditionally made boot. And when you find a boot that was made before 1977, pretty much odds are it's going to be traditionally made through and through. That means hard leather insole, you know, leather outsole, leather lining. 
stack leather heel, uh, just pretty much all leather everywhere, and it feels incredible. Uh, the 12B might be just a little bit more narrow than some of the other 12Bs that I've tried in more modern boots, but I feel like that's kind of normal. Uh, I think that boots used to be just a little bit more narrow, run a little bit more small uh, way back in the day. Uh, but still I fit into this boot and I feel like the previous owner kind of stretched it out a little bit on the sides and uh, it's fitting really nice. I can feel the imprint of the previous owner's foot in here just a little bit. It's not really that bad. I've definitely felt much, much worse. <laughs> so I think maybe I was sort of close to where they were. Uh, which is definitely nice <laughs> because uh, you can you can have the imprint of an insole uh, on a pair, used pair of boots just really throw off the fit when you first start wearing them or just make it really uncomfortable until you start to wear in your own impressions which does happen with time I don't know if these will ever be completely shaped to my foot because I don't plan on wearing them that often, but still they look great. They kind of feel like a uh, Cayman belly. Uh, I have a very similar color Cayman belly uh, from Boulay, the 8502. And it's not like a super durable feeling skin, but it feels very similar to what I felt with the Cayman belly or maybe a lizard. It feels very similar to those reptile leathers. Here's the POV. You can really tell that distinct sea turtle look with that asymmetrical tile grain. It's very, very unique, uh, very rare look indeed. It's something that you can spot immediately if you know what you're looking for. All right, guys, so these Justin Sea Turtle boots look great, they feel great, and I'm going to enjoy wearing them for special occasions only. I definitely will not wear these on a regular basis just because they're so old and I want them to last as long as possible. Usually I take this part of the video to talk about the quality of the build and how I think the boot will last. Instead, I wanna talk about a few things that you should know about sea turtle boots if you are in the market for some. First, if you're looking for used pre-band sea turtle boots on eBay or Poshmark, you probably won't find them by searching for sea turtle boots. And the reason is, eBay, Poshmark, and many of these other sites know that sea turtle is illegal for good reason, and they search their own website for these keywords and then remove those posts so that they're not selling something illegal because they can get in trouble for that too. This forces many vintage boot sellers online to post their pre band sea turtle boots as like rare leather or exotic leather cowboy boots. So if you use rare or exotic leather in your search term, you might find it, but it's never guaranteed because the leather is so rare nowadays. You're gonna have to continue the hunt to find a good pair of used pre-band sea turtle boots online. The second thing that's a good thing to know about sea turtle boots is that you probably shouldn't wear them while traveling. Sea turtle leather products can be seized by US Customs and Border Protection even if they are pre banned And I think that's fine because we want to make sure the sea turtle doesn't go extinct and there are still some countries who hunt sea turtles and make products from their leather and it gets smuggled in. So we got to make sure that the sea turtle thrives as much as possible. And if not traveling with sea turtle boots is the price, that's fine with me. Another thing is pre-banned sea turtle is pretty much strictly a collector's item now. Personally, I don't think that there is anything inherently wrong with owning a pair of pre-banned sea turtle boots since they were made before it was illegal but you're allowed to feel differently, that's cool. I definitely respect your opinion. If you're looking for a pair of pre-banned sea turtle boots, please make sure that they are pre-banned. The best way to do this is to see if they were made by a well-known brand like Justin, Nakona, Tony Lama, and so on. Just know that by purchasing sea turtle boots by unknown brand, which feature more modern styles, you may be contributing to the illegal trade of sea turtle products 
and that's not cool. But what is cool is holding a boot that was made before I was born and having it be in great shape still. This is an awesome find, a holy grail collector's item to the cowboy boot enthusiast, and I wanna know what you think down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching today. Please subscribe if you found this video entertaining, educational, whatever, and I will see you guys around. Peace. Pre-band sea turtle is very rare, just like the species, so we have to care. If you're looking for this holy grail, ensure that pre-bands from where they hail. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching today. Why don't you check out this other used cowboy boot video up here? Or I got a music video down here I think you might enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe over here and I'll see you next time. Peace. Have a good one.